Buongiorno. In this video, I'm going to talk about direct objects. A direct object answers the question, what? So, for example, um, I see a squirrel. What am I seeing? A squirrel. Squirrel is the direct object. Here's a, a couple of other examples. I ate the pizza. Uh, the pizza answers what I ate. How about I saw Johnny at the store? Johnny is whom I saw. Johnny's the direct object. Now let's uh, look at a few examples in Italian. And let's use the example um, leggere. So, how about leggo il libro? Leggo il libro, very general. I read the book. The book is the direct object. So, tu leggi il libro. So, instead of repeating il libro over and over again, we could just say si. Lo. Leggo. So, il libro is replaced by lo. Now, notice in Italian, the direct object pronoun comes before the verb. In English, it comes after. I read it. It is the direct object pronoun. Attenzione. The direct object pronouns in Italian are um, mi, ti, lo, la, ci, vi, li, and le. Okay, so let's pay specific attention to lo, la, li, and le. Attention to these pronouns with the passato prossimo. So I'm going to ask a question and I want you, I'm going to respond. You're going to respond using a pronoun. So I mangiato la pizza. I mangiato la pizza. So pizza is obviously the direct object. So what will replace pizza? La. Um, so, si, lo, mangiata. Okay, so notice how the participle agrees with pizza. When you're using a direct object pronoun, the participle agrees with the pronoun. The la, this is called an elision. So we drop the a, and it should be, just becomes lo, because lao is a little... So see, lo mangiata. Um, okay. How about, let's say it's i biscotti. Okay, okay. i biscotti. The pronoun we would use is... Li. Okay, so here I would say si li o mangiati. So the participle still agrees with biscotti, masculine plural. However, there's no um, elision with li in the same case with uh, le. So these plurals, there's no um, elision, no apostrophe. Lo and la, there's no elision. There's a, an apostrophe that connects the two words together. Also, I mean, remember, it also works for every other form of, form of avere. I could say, like, abbiamo mangiato um, la um, bistecca 
and I could re uh, replace that with uh, labiamo mangiata. So it doesn't matter. The form of avere doesn't matter. So lo, la, li, and le, they all agree with, as direct object pronouns, they agree with the past participle. Okay, quick quiz. Um, respond to these questions um, using a direct object pronoun. Okay, so here's your quiz. Hai visto il film? Avete studiato la filosofia? And hai fatto i compiti? So respond to those questions replacing direct object. The problem. So pause the video and uh, work these out. Okay, so. Hai visto il film? Si. Lo. Visto. Film. Masculine singular. The lo. There's an elision with the lo, and it agrees with visto. Avete studiato la filosofia? I'd say. Si. L'abbiamo, we, because the question was, do you all, we, abbiamo studiata. There's a lit, because la filosofia, singular feminine, still the elision and it agrees. And finally, I fatto i compiti. In this one, I'm going to answer no. No. Non. E compiti, li, no elision, li, o, still agreement though, fatti. Okay, so this is my uh, quick lesson on direct object pronouns. Uh, grazie ragazzi, ciao.